Let me see what she's like. I'm just gonna go look at her in cast just to be sure. Oh, she's a vampire! I feel so betrayed. Hello and welcome back to Sims These Sims Are Suffering Part 2. I will link the first part of this new challenge down below. If you missed it, go ahead and watch it and then come back here. But today we are trying to get my sim to earn as much money as possible, but also to possibly get engaged because we need to move along. We're playing on a short lifespan and we need to like find a partner soon so that we can be rich and, and married and, and all of those things. So, oh, this frog's a hundred. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we're kind of making some money right now. I might make my house a little bit smaller. I don't know. I'm thinking a little bit about like necessary items for my sim. I feel like now her house is functional. We've been like slowly but surely getting more and more money this whole time. And I feel like we finally reached a point where the house is actually like a house. <laughs> I mean, we have a kitchen now and stuff, so we're doing pretty well for ourselves. The thing about this challenge is that we're gonna be sitting here like slowly upgrading the entire time, you know? I mean, this isn't gonna stop anytime soon, so it's kind of what makes it fun. <laughs> Each day you've got a couple more walls and that that's it. Just, just walls, actually. I just wasted a lot of money on wallpaper. <laughs> I kind of regret it. What if we had like a front yard instead of a backyard, you know? Thoughts? That is a large fence. <laughs> my, my thoughts are that that is a very large fence. And this is a very large front yard. <laughs> and there are no plants in it. We might, let's, let's delete that. Let's try again. I feel like we could still have like at least a line of that fence. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to buy wallpaper for the outside. That's what I forgot to do. I knew I was forgetting something. It was wallpaper. Oh, whoopsies. Okay. I, admittedly, that is somewhat important. Yeah. Can you use eco lifestyle so it's cheap? No, it looks bad. Whatever. I don't really care what it looks like. <laughs> Look at how ugly this house is. We need, we'll save up some money and we'll, we'll upgrade it. I promise. For now though, she needs level two in the fitness skill for work. So I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to start working on that. Oh, I should have invited Dylan Lemons. Dang it! Tomorrow. I, I imagine we'll be spending a lot of time at the gym, so... Speaking of the devil, he invited me to the bar. No, I'll go. I'm sorry. I Listen, we have two priorities in life. Dylan Lemons and working out. <laughs> Being an astronaut and love. And today I choose love. This is pretty good. You know what? We could come like sit together and it's ghost night at the bar. It's really great. <laughs> So fun. She's feeling uncomfortable. This is not good. Why? Poorly decorated? Oh, I hate it here. This isn't the romantic night that I wanted. <laughs> There's a ghost sitting next to me. Oh, she's feeling inspired. I'll flirt in front of the ghost. I'm not worried about it. Compliment his appearance. Flirt with him. See what happens. Come on. Come on. Who are you? Don't sit next to me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Did he like it? Oh, he... It, Okay, well, she's feeling tense again. Well, maybe we, um, hmm. <laughs> uh, we don't have anything to get our fun up. I guess we can work on that in the morning. We don't have work until one. This was kind of a, this was kind of a fail. I'm gonna say it, ghost night at the bar. I'm just bailing. It was kind of a fail and I, I need to get away. Oh, my house is so ugly. We have so much short, we have so much work to do. I want a beautiful house so bad. I don't like looking at ours. We're gonna, we're gonna take two in the morning on that one because that did not work out how I wanted it to. <laughs> oh, you know what I was gonna do is buy a bookshelf and then I forgot. Let's buy like maybe a nightstand because that's cheap and they can get a little book. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, because then she can read something. There we go. This aspiration is stupid. Reading books in The Sims is so useless. <laughs> Well, that would be 2 a.m. and we're just now in bed. Nice work, everybody. <laughs> Great day. <gasps> Love day is tomorrow? Interesting. <laughs> interesting that tomorrow is a day of love. Okay, we have work really soon, but do you think I should prioritize the gym? I think I should, because we don't have any fitness skill and she needs that for work. I'm trying to get promoted as fast as possible. Oh, we're gonna have to, you know what? We're gonna have to buy a rocket ship at some point soon, which I do not look forward to. Those cost like 5,000 simoleons. And she's gonna be so smelly. I have to remember to shower before work. Oh, take a break. Let's go shower. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shower, shower, shower before you stink up the work. You're gonna stink up the whole workplace. Okay, that would be bad. I will admit that that would be bad. I wish we had gotten our skill up, but it's okay. We're close. Well, we're not even that close to doing it. Here I am trying to get married and promoted all in one day. It's fine. Solar panels on the shuttle are reporting critical errors during the latest launch simulation. Those puppies are brand new and they were expensive. Amber can either try to fix them or just install new ones. Ugh. Listen, fix them. Just because they're expensive doesn't mean they last a long time or work well. Those panels are junk and Amber has to replace them all anyway. Performance loss medium. <gasps> oh, Jacques is dead. Oops. I failed to ever go to, oh, I didn't ever go to Knights of the Hedge and I, now the member, one of the members is dead. <laughs> 
Oh no, this isn't going well. You see, if I had worked harder, she would have gotten promoted today. You know what? I am investing in a punching bag. I have decided that I need something for her to get her fitness skill up at home with. Punching bag is cheap. I will take punching bag. Riveting content right here. Oh, we can sell everything too. Oh, thank God we're gonna be rich. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, honestly, we have a lot of money. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. Oh, this is her first meal she's ever cooking. That's pretty impressive. I, I'm gonna say it. You know what? You did that. There's been a lot of firsts today. <laughs> See, now it's love day. This is what we needed this whole time. <laughs> I need to be able to, like, get Dylan to love me. She's not interested in any of it because she's a loner. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well... <laughs> That's fine. We can still go on a nice date this morning. Oh, I don't even think I can ask him on a date actually. Well, we can try. Oh, I can. What if he says no? I'm gonna check. Oh, he said no. Oh, that's so awkward. Okay, well, yikes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I put you through that. I should have known. I should have known, but I didn't think it through. Uh, and now what has happened here? Is something broken? Look at those plants. We have 2,000 simoleons now. We're like set. I could probably buy my own chess table. <laughs> you know what? I don't need you. I got my own. <laughs> I feel bad. I want him to go on a date with me. I feel like I should at least invite him over today. It's gonna be so late by the time we get a chance to. You know what? Forget it. Invite him over. See what he says. Just as friends though. Like a couple buddies hanging out on love day. <gasps> oh, he asked me on a date. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Never mind. False alarm. It worked. Just a couple buddies. Hanging out? Oh, oh, oh. Do you really have to wear the, the shoes? We've made a mistake. <laughs> why, why did we choose to get involved with this man? Of all the people I could have chosen, I picked him. Okay, oh, hip bump. You know what? We're a couple buddies. Ask about his career, give pep talk, you know, ease it in. He's a mixologist at the Blue Velvet. We should exchange numbers with him. That's smart. Maybe flirt. Oh, look, 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 romance, romance. We have work in an hour. Can you please get out of my way? You're literally standing in the middle of me and my love. Get a life, Brittany. <laughs> she really just can't handle not being the center of attention. So she does this. <gasps> you look like you're having a good time, Amber. Oh, I am. I am having a good time. I'm in love with you, Dylan. We really should give him a makeover. <laughs> we'll do that later. I changed one of his outfits so that it was like less bad, but I'll, I'll get to the rest of them. Oh, go to work. That's okay. It was a good date. It was a good date. That was a success story if, as far as I'm concerned. And he asked us out and we're going to get promoted today. So like, honestly, we're kind of on a roll. <laughs> I hate to say it, but there we go. Command center lead. Astro not four. And we got Star Seeker Original Blueprints. That's 160. That's some money right there. Okay. You know what I might do? You might, you might um, not like me for this, but I'm going to rebuild our entire house. <laughs> like, from scratch, I'm going to rebuild the entire house because I don't like it. It upsets me. I just want it to be gone. So I'm going to make it gone. <laughs> I want it gone. So it's gone. I want something that's like a little bit more, um, traditional. It looks like a cake. That wasn't what I was going for, but that's okay. It can look like a cake if it wants to. Just wanted a more interesting house, okay? I don't know if we can afford like doors and windows, <laughs> which is why this might have been a mistake, but I liked the idea of having something a little bit fancier, you know? Thing is, the doors that I want, like these are 400 simoleons. That is not worth the investment. <laughs> this was a mistake. Okay, lights are free, so let's just keep that in mind. We have lights. Where did my shower go? Oh no. Did I delete it? Oh no, I was just filtering by- oh god. I was just filtering by base game. <laughs> no worries, folks. We still have a shower. <laughs> oh, do you know what? We could probably keep- oh my god, this is- this is big brain stuff. I feel like the bathroom could probably be off this room and it would still function. Because you can put- we'll have to test it. We'll have to play test it, but I think that will work still. 230 for this window? <laughs> Why is everything in this game so expensive? <laughs> Just a giant window into the bathroom. Honestly, we need that though. I hope this bathroom functions because if so, that's really nice. Use the bathroom. Take a shower. Come on. Oh, she's peeing. She's peeing. <gasps> she's showering. She's showering. <laughs> it works. Who are you? Miriam Lofton. Do I know you? Do you want to be friends? Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't have any of those. Get to know. Enthuse about interests. Enthuse about fruitcake, my two favorite things. Oh, she's creative. Okay, we can be friends. This is great. Let me see what she's like. I'm just gonna go look at her in cast just to be sure. Oh, she's a vampire. I feel so betrayed. I feel so betrayed. I really thought, I thought that we could be, I thought we could be friends, you know? I really did. And I, I just, she's pretty too. Miriam, can you stop with your little like 
hissing. It's really weird. I'm gonna dress her up in some outfits just in case we do decide to be friends with her because <laughs> then she'll be wearing normal clothes and I'll feel less silly like, you know, being seen with her in public, but <sighs> it's very disappointing. I thought I could trust her. I've spent more time redecorating a vampire today than I have my future boyfriend. <laughs> Sim commands, occult commands, Humanize Sim. Yes, please. Miriam Lofton is a plain old ordinary boring human. Good job. That's what I wanted. This my friend. Miriam and me. We're best friends. I feel pretty good about my house, to be honest. <laughs> I think we're doing all right for ourselves. And you know what? We don't have work all weekend. But we do work from 2 to 10 p.m. now, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. She's watching me sleep. What kind of Edward Cullen behavior? Go home. She's sitting here reading next to me while I'm asleep. <laughs> Okay. I'm getting us a laptop. It's happening. I think that's a good use of our money. I think our bedroom looks cute, to be honest. I hate to say it, but I did a good job. I'm gonna put my punching bag outside again because I still need that. And I was thinking about maybe getting, uh, working on getting a living room of sorts. Cause we could get like a little sofa, a little coffee table, a little TV. <laughs> I won't, I won't buy the TV just yet. I feel like there's no point. There's no point in wasting the money on the TV right now. We'll slowly save up for one that we can actually afford. And until then we will have this. Do you know what? This is a nice house. It's a real house. <laughs> and as soon as we get married, which we should probably work on right now, I'm gonna have to change it again. <laughs> I finally like it. Now I'm gonna go get Dylan over and have to marry him. Oh, I'll go to the cafe with you. Oh, I should change his outfits. What if we made him wear yellow all the time? Because his name is Dylan Lemons. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> I changed his face a little bit too. I hate to say it, but I did. I'll make him cute. He's gonna be cute, you know, and also non-committal and, and hate children. <gasps> yellow! Oh my god. I feel like the fact that this man only ever wears yellow is like genuinely really obnoxious, but I like it about him. It's it's one of his best traits. This is a horrible yellow color and I want him to wear it. <laughs> this is Dylan Lemon's outfit. That's lemon yellow, to be honest. So, <gasps> oh my god. Yes. I don't know what this guy does for a living, but I really like this coat. I think he looks good. I can't wait for him to be an absolutely terrible father. This is a disaster. What have I done? I can like see it playing out already, right? Amber's gonna want to get married. He's not gonna want to get married because he's non-committal. <laughs> Maybe Amber gets pregnant and then he bails on her or something. Like it just, it's not gonna end well. I can see it. I don't know what to make him wear for his hot weather outfit, by the way. I got no idea. Oh my god, the socks on this style look. You can keep them. You look good. <laughs> they can stay. Well, anyway, the Lemons family, <laughs> they're not made up of good people. We saw what happened with Delaney Lemons. Life ruiner. Delaney Lemons is known as the life ruiner. Honestly, their outfits kind of match. <laughs> Wait, they're both wearing white shoes. I didn't even notice. <gasps> Try to cheer up. Why is he? Oh, did his mom die? Oh, no. Oh, now I feel bad. Uh oh. Well, how are we supposed to get married now? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really bad. Love you. Is it too soon to say that I love him? Oh god. <laughs> He's confiding in me. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh god. Okay. Discuss fitness techniques. Just go back to distraction. Gossip. Tell funny story. Distract. Distract. He thinks it's awkward. This is a disaster. I just praised the vampire lifestyle to him by accident. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> you get one vampire best friend and all of a sudden, do you think he'd be responsive to a, a romantic embrace? Oh, it's raining. Oh. And he didn't like me trying to be romantic with him. Oh no, oh my god. Can we go back home? <laughs> this would be way easier at home. This is not going well. But at home we got double friendship gain, so that's better for us. I'm so sorry, why, why do you hate me? This is so awkward. What if we played chess, you know what? Let's play chess together. It's a way to, it's, oh, she's not playing chess with him. Okay, that's fine. That's cool, I didn't want to anyway, that's fine. Did he go, oh no, he's still there. I thought he left me. I was like, come on, Dylan Lemons. See, this is a good way to gain relationship. Hopefully, maybe distract him. I don't know. Oh, Miriam, I'm busy. Uh. <laughs> Plus, maybe her embarrassment will go away. Oh, that's good. There we go. And they're good friends now. You see? Let's like throw out some flirting. Just see what happens. Oh, it's still an awkward encounter. I made a mistake. Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, no. <laughs> I ruined it. We get it. Your mom's dead. Everyone's gonna die. I need a tough. I need to date somebody and soon I'm gonna be an adult in five days. <gasps> the romance festival is in town. This couldn't have gone better. Okay, team, we might be getting married. <laughs> we might be about to get married. The stars have aligned. This could be our chance. Oh, look, they're all wearing yellow too. Oh, it's that girl. <laughs> it's Destiny who also hates children. Oops. Become best friends. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. And he's feeling flirty. <laughs> oh, 
well, this could be a good sign. Romance, oh, let's um mention the flirty festival vibe, you know? How you feeling about that? Attempt to seduce him, maybe? That won't go well, it will it? Wait, I think he likes it. Wait, throw petals. <laughs> Heartfelt compliment. Get to know. Describe flirty dream about Dylan. Oh, you're moving so fast. You know what? <laughs> I think this is a good place to end this part. <laughs> I'm going to try and have them get married tonight. I know it's not gonna work. He's gonna be like, whoa, it's too soon. And I'll be like, no, it's not. I've known you for like five days. And then, you know, I'll probably get upset, but I'll see you guys next time. I, I want to formally apologize to anyone out there named Dylan or Amber <laughs> um, and anyone named Lemons. And I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like I'm setting Amber up for failure right now. I, I feel bad. <laughs> this is bad behavior.